Hi guys, I'm Katie Dunlop and welcome back to Fit On. Today I have a 15 minute bra bulge and back fat workout that you are going to absolutely love. So this one I'm gonna be using two different sets of weights because some of the moves just can be a little tougher on your shoulders with heavy weights. So find one light set or two varying sets of weights at home and let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with a super woman, not super man, super woman pullback on the floor to really focus on that back. Now, you can't target fat loss from a specific area, but the more we work into those muscle groups, the more you're gonna burn fat, burn calories, strengthen, and create the shape and definition that you're looking for, and this one is really gonna get us started. So, come onto your belly all the way down on the mat. You're gonna exhale, let everything go, reach your hands forward. Take an inhale breath, exhale, lift up. You can keep your legs on the floor or lift them with you to get a little bonus booty work. And as you lift, you're gonna squeeze, bring your elbows to touch as close as you can behind you, squeezing right where like that bra buckle would be, and then lower it down. Lift it up, squeeze it back, and lower. Squeeze, good. You don't have to lower super far. You're gonna feel that relaxation as you bring the arms forward. So just a little up, squeeze it back. Again, feel free to rest the tops of your feet on the mat. This is really about focusing on your lats. Squeeze it. Good. Lift. And breathe. Make sure you take that little secondary motion, that pause at the top before you lower. Can you feel it already, right? Woo. We have eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Hold up on one, hold it, squeeze it back, lift. Tiny pulses up, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pause, let it go. Find a quick child's pose, just relaxing through that back. Really making sure we're taking the time to balance between those strengthening moves and really stretching it out. Especially that back can tend to be a little bit tight. So just let it go for a moment. Now we're gonna go all the way to standing. I want you to come to the end of your mat and we're gonna walk it out. So working more into the chest, more of that bra bulge area, you're gonna walk it all the way out to a high plank. If this is too much, you can drop onto your knees, but I want you to start in that high plank so that you can get the distance between your feet, your knees, and your wrists. Then if you wanna to drop to the knees, you can bring them together. Keep your core tight, keep the same posture. Turn your thumbs in just a tiny bit. You're gonna inhale, lower toward the ground. Exhale, push away. As you push away, you're gonna reach up with your right arm, bring it down, lower. Exhale, reach left. Exhale, good, up, lower. Press, lift, you got it? So you make those little adjustments so you can find your balance and reach. We're working in the chest as we lower and press away in that push up. And then getting into the back, you reach it out. Exhale, reach, core tight, and reach. Let's go, Woo. This is a great place to start and being on your knees is really gonna allow you to get more reps in here and build that strength. So push-ups are challenging. Start here, press, good. Lift, four more, four. We have three, two, last one. Exhale, press it out, shake out those shoulders. Let them go for just a second here. Take a quick stretch. Exhale, breathe. Good. I'm gonna actually go ahead and pick up my lighter set of weights coming to standing. And we're gonna start just with a single side row. So my left arm is gonna roll back, bringing the hand right by the hip. My right arm just stays by the floor. We're gonna alternate. So you're gonna switch, switch, good. Now the key here, you gotta glide that arm right by your side body and squeeze it. I want you to pinch and squeeze as you drive the elbow back. Squeeze, exhale, good. Keep your core tight. 
maybe bend into the knees a little bit more to get some more depth. And the more you hinge forward toward a flat tabletop back, the more you're really gonna work pulling back. Good. Up and switch. Breathe. How are we doing? You got this? I know we like tend to always love to work our booty and our abs at you guys. Those arms are so important to get that nice sculpted shape so you can feel super confident rocking tank tops, tees, and just doing life, right? Like we use our arms constantly. We need that strength. It's not about bulking. It's about functional fitness. Getting through, creating definition. Up, let's go. Switch, pull, squeeze it tight. You have eight, seven, six. Then we're gonna switch it up. Five, four, three, two. Hold back on one. You're gonna kick back to the hip, back to the hip. So I like to put my thumb straight down on the weight, adds a little support. Keep the shoulder pulled away from the ear and try not to curl it all the way in, like to the shoulder. We're not doing a bicep curl. It's all about that tricep. Back, in, press, in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Straight arm pulses up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring them together. Quick stand, shake it out. We're gonna hit the right side. So again, down below, drive it up. Get that weight by the hip. I'm gonna show you on this side so you get a little closer look. Right at that hip, press it up, bring it down. Press it up, down, good. Awesome. Keep it nice and high, let's go. Up, core tight. Gaze is down at the mat so your neck and spine stay long. You have eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, straight arm pulses up, up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go, shake it out.